Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can find hidden parameters, whether the parameter is hidden in the cookies, whether it is hidden in the get request or in the post request, right? So we are going to see that how we can find hidden parameters in a particular web applications. And if you have seen my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find uh, parameters by using a tool known as Arjun, then you are aware that how we can find it on the endpoints, right? But the major problem in Arjun was it was quite difficult for us to find parameters on those uh, endpoints that require some kind of authentication, which means that we need to perform some kind of authentication like login, like uh, signing with Google, etc. Right. In order to go visit that particular uh, endpoint. In that case, Arjun will not work as it is intended. Right. So let's see that how we can use this particular tool, how we can find parameters on those endpoints that requires some kind of authentication and for this demonstra demonstration I'm going to use a live website to show you directly how we can find it on live applications but before going into this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can find CSRF vulnerabilities on live applications then go ahead and check this out the link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website yet which is www.bpractical.tech then go ahead and check the website out we have awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web development so as you can see we have contents we can we are also providing services and over here as you can see we have what is csrf sql injection uh, so many things related to web development as well uh, top easy best framework for php best hacking os and so on right so go ahead and check this out the link will be given in the description as well as if you go to the cyber security section you'll see there is a lab over here and if you click on it you will be redirected to this particular lab where you will learn how hackers can actually hack into your accounts by abusing the website web application functionalities right so all of these labs are based on real world scenario which means that each and every lab that you'll solve there is a hacker behind it who actually found a account takeover vulnerability by using the same approach that you'll do to solve these particular labs so yeah go ahead and check the, all of this lab and all of these labs are totally free and it will always be free right now with that being said let's finally get started for this particular video right so in our case i'm going to use a target which is this right so we are going to see that how we can find hidden parameters on this particular endpoint right and this endpoint is actually very interesting so let me show you how so i'm just going to open my browser here we are we are this browser and the second thing that we need to do is we need to open our verb suit right so i'm just going to open mine and you must have verb suit any verb suit will do whether you have the community edition or you have the professional edition so just open your verb suit and I'm just gonna turn off the proxy here. Now, let me just copy the link. This is the target. And I'm just gonna open a new tab. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply gonna just paste the link over here, right? And I'm gonna hit enter. And let's see what happens after that. Let's try to analyze this application first. So as you can see, it has redirected me to this particular URL, right? So our original URL was this, right? This was our original url right original url but we got redirected to this url right so we are redirected to this url now most of the people over here will think that okay this endpoint is redirecting us to the main domain right which means that that particular endpoint will not hold uh, some kind of uh, you know special speci speciality right speciality so in this case, let me show you that how this particular endpoint which redirected us can be used to find more juicy information, right? So even if you uh, encounter this scenario in real application, real world uh, bug bounty hunting, right? You must and you should always test these particular endpoints for hidden things like hidden parameters, hidden cookies and etc. So let me show you how we can find all of this by using verb suit. Now, once we have this URL, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this particular URL and let me just copy it real quick and just turn on the intercept and just gonna paste it and hit enter right so here we are here I'm just gonna send this to repeater and the URL was index.php as you all remembered right so now if I click on send you'll see that it is redirecting me to the main endpoint right 
now let's see now most of this most of the people will give up simply because they will think that okay it is redirecting me to this particular endpoint which means that this endpoint slash index dot php may not holding some kind of a speciality right so let's see how we can find information on this particular endpoint so the first thing is you need to install an extension of burp suite which is known as param minor so to install it you just go to the extensions and just go to the b app store and just select the param minor so i'm just going to show you so here we are here we are param minor just click on that and at, over here you will see an install uh, icon right so in my case i have already installed it that's why it is showing me to reinstall but in your case it will just show you install then click on that and the extension will get installed in your web suite right once you have param minor installed in your web suite what you want to do just go to the repeater and just right click over here you'll see an option of extensions and inside that extension just select param minor and over here we have two options right case params and param minor now let me tell you that param minor is basically used to find a particular class of vulnerability which is known as web cache deception right we are going to learn about this vulnerabilities later on in the upcoming videos but for now let's focus on how we can find some information like parameters like hidden uh, endpoints by using param minor for that we just need to go to the guess params and over here as you can see we have three functionalities it can guess the get parameters it can guess the cookies parameter it can guess the headers and the fourth and the final thing is guess everything which means that it will guess each and everything it will guess headers cookie parameters and the get parameters as well right so for now for the sake of demonstration i'm just going to go with the get parameters right but in real world scenario you should go for everything now i'm just going to click on get parameters guess get parameters just click on that just hit okay and we are good to go now if you go to the extensions and if we click on install and if you hover over to output you'll see that it is showing that queued one attack initiating url brute force on this particular endpoint right now let's wait for few seconds and let's say let's see that whether this application this extension will identify some hidden endpoints or not right so we are just going to wait and now the speed of this tool totally depends on the internet connection speed that you currently have right so let's wait for a while So as you can see, we currently got two parameters, right? So it had identified tracking as well as route parameter. Now, even if the application was redirecting us initially, we can still find some parameters, right? Now let's see how the application will behave if we provide one of these one of these parameters. For example, I'm going to go with the tracking and let's see what happens. So I'm just going to provide the tracking parameter over here, question tracking equals to and let's specify any random value let's say batman and let's click on send and let's see what happens right let's just wait and as you can see we got 200 response right instead of 301 by default right so now that we have identified now let's see whether this uh, batman is reflecting somewhere in the response or not right as you can see it is uh, it is reflecting straight in the cookies right now since this is uh, reflecting in the cookies there is a high possibility that this may be vulnerable to CRLF vulnerabilities. Again, we are going to discuss these vulnerabilities in detail in the upcoming videos. But for now, as you can see, we have successfully identified one parameter, right? Now let's go to the extensions again. And as you can see, again, we got a new parameter. Now there is a route parameter. And if I copy this, so by the name of it, we can say that this may be used to redirect the user to somewhere, right? So if I sp specify route, click on send batman let's see it is showing 404 not found so the application is again behaving differently right which means that we are on the right track and if we dig further then we'll able to find something on this particular application now i'm not going to show you any attack the uh, main motive behind this video is to find information about the target right so this is how you dive deep into the application and now we have another parameter search let's copy this and let's paste it and let's click on send the value is still the same and as you can see it is reflecting in three of the places in the response so the first one is over here 
second is in some kind of code the javascript code and the third is also in some code right so i hope that you have identified i so i hope that you have learned that basically that how we can find parameters endpoints and different things in a particular uh, application and how we can basically dive deep into the application right so dive deep is the most important term over here because while you are doing bug bounty on live application you'll need to you know understand the application the more you'll understand the application the more chances are that you'll get some kind of bounty right so i hope that you have understood that how we can use para minus to find uh, hidden parameters so we can even use this particular tool th this particular extension to find parameters in the cookies and if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to comment your doubts in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you out now with that being said i am currently running two courses on udemy so let me just click on this and over here i am currently running two courses on udemy the first one is hacking windows with python where you will learn that how hackers can actually hack into your machine by creating their own custom payloads you are going to learn everything from the scratch like how we can create payloads what are listeners how we can create listener how we can bind files how we can bind payload with any files how we can bypass antiviruses and we are going to learn all of this in the practical way and the second and the in most in interesting course of mine is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where you learn that how we can hack into any applications to perform account takeover what is account takeover what are the ways to dive deep into the application as we have seen one of the methods over here and we are going to see some of the live cases of how hackers are actually finding account takeover vulnerabilities on live applications right so you can go ahead and check this these uh, course out if you want to and yeah so that's it for this video also we are currently uh running a telegram channel so the link is will be displaying over here as well as the link is given in the description so go ahead and join our channel where you can discuss many things related to cyber security or web development or anything that you like we'll discuss many things and we'll interactly uh, we'll make the session interactive and we'll learn more things together so yeah if you're interested then go ahead and join our telegram channel now with that being said thanks for watching and keep being awesome